Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a really exciting video and it's going to be a 15 week pregnancy update. My husband and I are super excited that we're having this sweet little baby and I really wanted to document all of it or as much as I can and just see my belly grow and have something that I can watch like later down the road or a baby can watch if he or she wants to. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. Today I'm actually 15 weeks pregnant, but I might have said 15 week, oops, 14 week pregnancy update, um, because Sundays are my week change, but I have made notes because I'm having really bad pregnancy brain already, like it's just really bad. The other day we made soup and when I went to go and take my bowl of soup to the table, I put the whole ladle in my bowl instead of a regular spoon because I thought that's how I was going to eat that night. So whatever. <laughs> but anyways, so little love, which I like to call her baby. That's what I've been calling baby since we found out. Um, for 14 weeks was the size of a large lemon, which is kind of funny because I'm obsessed with lemons recently or the last week I have been and really all the time basically from the beginning of this pregnancy I've really loved lemons and limes I just don't know why I'll just sit there and eat them but whatever but baby's the size of a large lemon so that's about 3.4 inches or 1.5 ounces so that's really exciting sorry another thing of this pregnancy is I feel like my hair has just I don't even know it has gained just even more special growing powers it's it was already really long but now i just feel like it's just whoo, super long and it just gets tangled and it's crazy it's a big hot mess so i'm just gonna be constantly fighting that this whole time but so back to baby size for cravings for me i have really been really wanting kale all the time which is weird. Before I was pregnant, I really liked it, I enjoyed it, but I'm not like, hey, let's go get a bowl of kale salad. But now I'm just like, I need kale now, and I literally eat it almost twice a day. Like, it's kind of ridiculous, but oh well. <laughs> Another thing I've really been craving is cheesecake. The other night we were driving home and I made Mitchell stop at the grocery store so I could buy a cheesecake. So that is in my fridge with the kale. Um, something else that I've really been craving a lot of is coffee. Hence why I'm wearing a first coffee shirt. So yeah, try not to drink too much of it because you're really apparently only supposed to have like 200 milligrams of it. But you know, I try to stay below that and just iced coffee is just amazing. I loved it before, but now it's just like even more intense. My love has grown for it, so whatever. <laughs> for symptoms, I have been, there are days where like my energy is like up here and then five minutes later, I will feel like I'm going to die and have no energy at all and think I'm gonna just pass out on the ground. So that kind of sucks, but we're gonna get through this and it's gonna be great. But that's probably been the main thing that's been the worst. Something else has been occasionally I've been getting really, really intense headaches all of a sudden. But if I just like slow down and sit down or lay down if I'm at home and just spun some water and just take it easy for a minute, it usually goes away. But still, it's just how intense it is sometimes gets a little bit scary. But I'll live. It'll be okay. <laughs> um starving all the time that is another fun symptom like I will just sit here and eat all day not even like horrible things I'll like try to get some good vegetables and fruits and just things with high protein like in the morning I try to eat the cereal that has high protein or protein bars but all of a sudden I will just get this such intense hunger feeling that like I feel like I'm gonna just lose my mind if I don't have food like in my hands and in my mouth within five seconds so that kind of really sucks that happened actually today when we were going to lunch like we were just in the car and I was fine and then I was like oh, I need food now right now given we were like two minutes away from the restaurant but I was just like oh, I'm gonna die but I survived and it was delicious Thai food okay another really gross thing as like a symptom I guess you could say 
would be my gums have been getting swollen it's not all of my gums but there's just this one little i know you all know what i'm talking about like the little piece like inside on the roof of your mouth at the very front it's just that one little piece gets swollen and it hurts because when you chew everything hits it when you try to close your mouth everything hits it so that's really really annoying oh well i still love you little baby and i do it all times 10 whenever just for the little baby so it's good i'm complaining now it sounds like but i'm just letting you know all my symptoms but that's just really been it for symptoms Overall, we're just super, super excited. We actually did a blood test at my last doctor's appointment. We're just to like make sure everything was good, like genetically with the baby. And we also found out the gender, but we're not releasing that just yet. But it's super exciting because I, this whole time I've been trying to catch myself and not say if it's a baby boy or a baby girl. So yeah. We'll, we'll probably announce that pretty soon, but it's so exciting. Anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just recently now, yeah, last week was 14 weeks. Now it's um, 15 weeks today. And I just recently, like during 14 weeks, started to show like you could actually, I could actually be like, hey, can you see this belly? And people would be like, yeah, instead of it just all being me seeing it and Mitchell seeing it so it's really cool but still it's not like horribly huge or anything yet but I'm so excited that there's a little baby but yeah so now I guess we're gonna do a belly shot for you guys so here's my belly from the front with just a shirt on and then here's the belly from the side here's the belly without the shirt on so can't really see much going on but you can see like with my muscles popping out on the side you can see it's kind of it's kind of going I'm gonna just from the side so it's so exciting I've tried to do this multiple times and my neighbors are just kind of like what is that woman doing because my blinds are open but oh well so I hope you guys really enjoyed. I'm gonna be doing these videos weekly, so I hope you all come back and see the progress and come along on this journey with me and baby and my husband. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.